hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit the arabian portrait that means the hijab type portrait so this one is stock image and i'll show you the process to edit all the things so press ctrl j at first and then i will add another things or other steps and how to make the preset from the camera filter and other steps so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell again for the new notifications so at first go to the filter and select a layer which one i just copied and filter camera filter so camera filter is by default plugins in a creative cloud version of the photoshop and if you are the user of the cs version you have to install it manually and i'll give you the installation link in my video description so from here i'll edit the face color and the ambient lights and other stuffs so at first i'll de-highlight this one so add some shadow a little bit and decrease the blacks variance i'll delete just make it minus 27 and saturation minus 12 that's fine and go to the basic here the temperature and tint i'll make it a little bit warm and the tint i'll make it plus 12 minus 12 that is fine okay then I'll go to the split toning options from here I'll do some split toning like this and balance like that and the shadow I'll make the shadow like this you have to choose the proper color that means I'll give some like honey type color so this one yeah that's good and then the hsl panel increase the red saturation orange decrease a little bit and yellow increase green aqua and other things i'll add some saturation and luminance i'll increase the orange luminance yellow luminance as well green aqua blue and purples magenta i'll decrease that so hue i'll change the hue like this and the luminance of red i'll make it like this so now i'll go to the camera calibration and i'll make the camera calibration like this the primary red color and the hue of the green primary and the saturation and the aqua color i'll make it like that so here as well so here in a sharpness and detail options luminance i'll make it like that and tone curve the blue tone curve i'll make it yeah like that and yeah that's fine and the green color i'll make the green color like this the red color yeah that's fine and the rgb i'll make it add some grammar like that so that's fine so light is coming from the left side so i'll add light from the other panels so i'll save it out save the settings and save it out and i'll save this one like okay and hit the ok button so previous one and after one previous one and after one now i'll add a light for that take a new blank layer and select the color from here pick a color like this and that's fine and go to the brush tool here and make the opacity 100 percent and the flow 100 percent right press and take brush which one is the first select once and press ctrl t and make it bigger like that so seems like that light is coming from the left top so hit the ok button make the blending mode to screen and then go to the adjustment layer and the gradient map from here select this gradient and make it like 
aqua and make it like yellowish that means yellow and orange middle of that so hit ok and hit ok so go to the blending mode and make it screen so drop down this one like that and make the fill like that and make it soft light actually the blending mode of the gradient soft light and fill color i'll make it like this that's fine so this one is light this one is a gradient and then go to the adjustment layer again and the solid color and from here i'll use the solid color like that and go to the blending mode and make it soft light or you can change the color if you need so i'll make the color like this yeah a little bit too wormy that's good and select all the things make it group and make it merge so go to the filter and click collection and color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to download the color effects pro plugins please check out my video description i'll give the download link over there from here i'm using the cross processing and here are lots of methods you can use one of them and you can make your photographs more amazing so this one this one so i'll use the c04 that's fine and here is the strength options if you need you can change it up increase or decrease in this case i'll take it 33 percent and the opposite and other stuffs like that and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output and it will be amazing like before one so let's see the before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so go to the adjustment layer and again go to the color lookup from here here's a fuzzy film and let's try another one it will make more amazing I like uh, kodak like that so that's fine here i'll decrease a little bit of the fill our opacity so let's see the before one and after one and now again adjustment layer and solid color i'll add a warm type color like this and go to the soft light blending mode and make it like yeah that's good or this one is good this one is pretty good and let's see the before one and after one this one is amazing obviously so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i may see when i'm signing out today and bye bye